now we're going to show you a demonstration of we have a leak in the skimmer line of a pool. The whole pool's been checked for a leak before, and we have uh, symptoms of air coming back to the system. That's kind of uh, it's a typical symptom of a suction side leak where the uh, pipe is actually drawing in air. So we'll show you what that air is doing. Then we're going to pressure it up, make sure that it's uh, the pipe fuse is applicable for this situation, and we're going to show you how we use it. So let's go. So we're going to show you when uh, again when we have a suction line. Or one of the symptoms are is, is air back in a return, as you can see going on right down here. So if you look, you'll see all those air bubbles coming back in. So this pump keeps losing prime again because it's on the suction side. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix the leak in the suction side pipe using the pipe fuse. So check it out. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to install a stand pipe. So it's two inch threaded. It's going to come up and it just makes installing our plug, our compression plug, a lot easier. So now we're going to set in our compression plug. Give it a couple of turns so it expands and it sits nice and snug. Now on our injection rig, we're going to screw in our hose that's going to go on one side and on the other side, it's going to go right to the pump that comes with the kit. After we screw that on, we're going to drop the pump into the bin and let's move on to our return side rig. So this is the other side of the pipe. We're going to put in our inch and a half plug. We're going to turn it so it compresses and it fits snug. And now we're going to put our valve return, hook it up to the hose, and then we're going to bring that hose right back over to the bin again. So now we have one circulation running. It's one loop. So we took that pipe, took it offline, and now created a loop. We're going to fill the bin, and what we're going to do is we're going to do a pressure test. And we could see that we have a slow drop. This slow of a drop is going to make pipe fuse applicable for this situation. So now what we're going to do is now that we have it running, the pump is running, it's running all through the loop. And what we're going to do is we're going to shake up part A and we're going to shake it for a while, getting it all stirred up nice. And we're going to pour in port A as the pump is running. Pouring in part A has a coagulant and it has the polymer that's going to block up the leak. So when we see we have water running through, we know we're performing a good loop. So after a couple of hours, next thing we're going to do is we're going to shake up part B and without interrupting the pump or anything, we're going to pour part B into the loop and we're going to allow that to run for about two to three hours. After it runs for two to three hours, we shut our sides of the rig and we do a pressure test. If you watch this pressure test, you'll see that it's holding. Next thing we could do is we could wrap it up. So we could disconnect our system. We could unplug our standpipe. We could drop in our baskets. Set it all up and then we could put the pool back into service once it's plumbed on the other side, of course. When you're done using your kit, you want to flush all hoses out with water, all the rigs out with fresh water, and then pack them nice and neatly back into the bin. Once that's all done, you could call it a day, wrap it up, 